Hello, I'm Father Anthony Gramlich of the Marian Fathers of the Immaculate Conception. Welcome to Ask a Marian. Anna from San Antonio, Florida asks, why do priests wear rose-colored vestments on the third Sunday of Advent instead of Advent purple? That's a great question, Anna, and I'm so happy you call the color rose. Some people say pink, but priests do not wear pink, it's rose. As you know, the season of Advent, from the Latin advenio, which means to come, is a time of penance and preparation that directs our hearts and minds to Christ's second coming at the end of time and to the anniversary of our Lord's birth on Christmas. During Advent, the priest wears violet or purple vestments to symbolize penance, preparation, and sacrifice. But halfway through Advent, the church in our goodness offers a pause, like a little oasis in the desert, to reflect on the joy and excitement of Christmas, noting that our time of penance and preparation is soon coming to a close. It happens on the third Sunday of Advent, December 17th this year, and it's called Gaudete Sunday. Gaudete means rejoice in Latin. On this Sunday, priests put aside their usual Advent vestments and wear a rose, the symbol of joy. You'll also notice there's a rose-colored candle for this Sunday on the Advent wreath. In the entrance antiphon of the Mass, we hear Gaudete and Domino Semper, which means rejoice in the Lord always. Rejoice is a theme in all of the readings this Sunday. And the first reading, the prophet Isaiah proclaims, I rejoice heartily in the Lord, and my God is the joy of my soul. For he has clothed me with a robe of salvation, and wrapped me in a mantle of justice, like a bridegroom adorned with a diadem, like a bride to be decked with her jewels. In the responsorial psalm, we hear Mary's words in the Magnificat. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked upon his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. In the second reading, St. Paul exhorts us to rejoice always, pray without season, and all circumstances give thanks, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Finally, in the Gospel, John the Baptist makes the joyful announcement, I baptize you with water, but there is one among you whom you do not recognize, the one who is coming after me, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to untie. Now I ask you, with just 11 days until Christmas, have you had a good Advent? Have you properly prepared your mind and heart for the coming of Jesus? Or have you been preoccupied with other things like Christmas shopping? If you haven't been to confession yet, please do so. There's still time to avail yourself of the Sacrament of Reconciliation. The very best gift you can give the child Jesus on Christmas Day is a clean heart and mind with genuine forgiveness of your sins and a firm purpose of amendment. Finally, it's a little early, but on behalf of the Marian Fathers, I wish you and your loved ones a very happy and blessed Christmas.